Hey guys, um, so we never thought we were going to have to make this video, but um, there have been some rumors circulating online uh, about our relationship and they're really bad. So we just decided to make this video and tell you guys the truth, like tell you our story. Yeah. All right. A ton of you have asked me to talk about Brandon Calvillo and Lacey James and all that going on. So today we're going to talk about lying, gaslighting. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And speaking of subscribing and ringing that notification bell, Real quick house cleaning, it is not a secret that all across YouTube, all creators are dealing with, you know, people, their subscribers not getting notified or even videos not showing up in the subscription feeds. So I reached out to YouTube and they sent me a link that I'm providing in the description as well as in the pinned comment. If you are not getting notified when your favorite creators post or they're not showing up in the subscription feed, please take a few minutes to fill this out, okay? This is going to help you, it's gonna help me, and it's gonna help all of the creators on YouTube as YouTube gathers information to figure out what the heck is going on, all right? But until they figure that out, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well as on Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, because I'm always posting whenever new videos come up, all right? Cool. So yeah, anyways, those of you who are new to my channel, um, I'm not a drama channel, I'm not here to, you know, sip some tea with all of you. I try to take these topics and see how they relate to you. I just use what's going on in YouTube to give you some context. Um, what inspired this video is I just got done watching a video from my buddy Edwin from the channel Edwin's Generation. Go watch that video, like, he broke down the multiple lies that, you know, Brandon Calvillo and Lacey James are spitting out after all this stuff happened. So go check out his video. It's awesome. I'll link it down in the description and in the pinned comment and as well as up in the info card. So go check it out if you want to get like all of that information. But anyways, I'm just going to give you like brief context for each one of the topics that we're going to go into and then kind of bring up some topics that you should probably look at in your life. All right. So the first thing that I want to address is lying. Okay. Lying at the beginning of a relationship so basically what happened was Brandon Calvillo you know it was it was said that he was dating Lacey James when she was only 17 years old there was proof from the David Dobrik bra, uh, blog uh, or vlog rather and you know then some other things came out and basically Brandon and Lacey made this video discussing how this wasn't true so Lacey goes on to say this about a year ago i created an account on this app called bumble where you can kind of meet new people and meet up with them and chat with them and on my profile it said i was 18 years old and at the time i was 17. i think it was one or two months before i had turned 18 at that point so Lacey is saying that she lied on the bumble app about her age now this this is a big deal okay so like what i want you guys to think about is like when you're dating if you're single and you're dating and maybe some of you who are in a long-term relationship let me know your views down in the comments but when you're dating like if i catch somebody in a lie or a big lie like early on like that's that's a deal breaker for me like if somebody's gonna lie to me in the beginning of a relationship i cannot continue to be with that person because in the back of my mind i'm always gonna wonder like is this something that's gonna happen again? Now, is it like a little thing, you know, or is it something to, you know, overcome? Like maybe, but in this, in this context of the situation, she was lying about her age, which could potentially get Brandon arrested, right? Like this is like a big deal. This is a big deal. You know what I mean? So if, if that were to happen to me or if it were to happen to you, like I really want you to sit back and think about the consequences of that lie all right now you know brandon says that you know she came out and told him and then they waited and all that stuff and by the way and again like shout out to edwin like i i dig edwin because he uses logic and that's something that i try to preach on my channel is just like use some logic and common sense like going uh you know still in the realm of of lying like 
you you like as the viewer you have to wonder like how much how many times are these people gonna lie to us like we're supposed to believe you know all these things like they met she she came out and told him that she was 17 he was cool with it and they waited until she was 18 and all these like all these other things right like like it, it would be a stretch to believe that something that edwin actually said was you know do you separate god what was that saying right like do you uh separate the behavior from the creator that's something that i have to think about right like I, I was like a somewhat Brandon Calvillo fan just because Tristan got me into him because he was doing these conversations in his car, which were pretty cool. It gave me some topics. I covered a few of them. Like his talk with Al Mills, his talk with Scotty Sire. It has some interesting mental health topics. But like with all this new stuff coming up, like I have to ask myself, do I still want to support this channel, right? Do I want to support somebody who's lying, getting caught in lies, and all of that, you know? And that's that's for each one of us. Like, I don't want to influence you. I want you to sit back and form your own opinion. But like, for me as a person, it's something that I'm thinking about more and more and more. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. Like, I'm, I'm choosing who I support, you know, based on their personality, right? Because as you know from my content, something that I think about is enabling, right? Enabling in, in my life almost killed me so like when I look at enabling other people, like am I fueling behavior that might keep them sick? How is somebody going to learn their lesson, right? But aside from that, like uh, Lacey James, like lying on her LinkedIn, you know, about being Brandon's assistant, like, I don't know, that, that one's not too huge. The ones I'm looking at is lying at a massive audience of over a million people and as well as the lie about age because that can be illegal. You know what I mean? So I want you to think about that. And let me know down in the comments, have you caught somebody early on in your relationship in a lie? And then like, did you stay with them? Did they stop lying? Because like another thing, I will say this, like I, I have empathy. I believe people can grow and all of that, but something I've worked on very, 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 very hard in my life is not lying, right? Like I might tell you that it's none of your business, certain things, but I've made it a point to not lie about things because that's something that not only fueled my addiction, but it fueled my anxiety. And lying will fuel your, your anxiety. And you know what I'm talking about. You lie and then you gotta cover it up and then you wonder like, oh, what did I tell this person? What did I tell that person? You are causing your own problems. But anyways, kind of fun story when um, Tristan and I first started dating, you know, she, she was like, oh, you're probably lying like in that playful, cute, adorable way. And I told her, I'm like, girl, you're gonna learn about me. Like, I don't lie. And she's like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, everybody lies and stuff like that. I'm like, no. I said, and we'll see. Like, try to point it out. Like when we're, when we're dating, like, let me know when you catch me in a lie. Right. And we've been dating for like over two years now. And I don't think she can point out any situation in which she's caught me in a lie because it just causes problems. And in any relationship, trust is a huge, huge, huge thing. Next, we're gonna talk about the topic of gaslighting. So what is gaslighting? This is a topic that I keep bringing up on my on my channel. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse, okay? So TLDR for gaslighting. Gaslighting is a manipulation in which one person tries to make you feel crazy and question your own sanity, right? And one of the tactics that they'll use is that they try to make you feel guilty for feeling the way that you do, all right? This happens often in relationships, but like, let's point out an example of gaslighting with this clip right here. It's just, it's it's really crazy to both of us and silly that mm -hmm. all this is being, I don't know, like- People just assume things and it's really disheartening just as the people who are involved in this situation. Like we are real people with real lives and real relationships and it's just, in total invasion of privacy. This is something that many, 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 many YouTubers are guilty of when like their little scandals come out and they gotta like make a public apology or clear things up. They are notorious for gaslighting, all right? Again, whether or not you support Brandon as a creator anymore, but this is another thing on my list where I'm like, okay, that wasn't cool. But Lacey James and Brandon Calvillo, they're trying to say, hey, like we're real people. We're real people, you know what I mean? And like, they're trying to make you feel bad 
for the lying they've done, the, um, you know, the illegal activity they've done, you know what I mean? They're trying to make you as the viewer feel bad, you know? So like, to give you context that might be more relatable in your life, imagine like a family member just doing something awful to you, right? And then you being upset about it or you setting up a boundary and then them coming to you and saying, hey, I have feelings too. Why, how dare you? You know what I mean? They're trying to make you feel bad about it, you know? And that's not okay. That is not cool, all right? Like, so you need to be aware of this. And something I always say, the best way to keep gaslighting in check is to have a support group, ask somebody else, bounce it off them and say, hey, in this situation, but the trick is you gotta be honest about the situation and say, do you think I'm crazy for being upset about this? Because I think people are justifiably upset about this situation, especially like, you know, Donna and I, we talk about, we talked about parasocial relationships, the connection that viewers build with YouTubers, right? Like it is, you know, an abuse of trust um, when something like this happens, but it's also uh, an abuse of the relationship that YouTubers carry with the audience when they try gaslighting, all right? So I hope that makes sense. But I want you to look in your own relationships, and I know a lot of people, whenever I mention gaslighting, it kind of clicks for somebody, so that's why I like to give you guys a lot of examples, because it might be happening in your relationship. And always check out in the comments below, because people share their stories or examples how people have been gaslighting them, and it may help you get some wheels turning. And I, I've seen people say they had to end certain friendships, because certain friends were always trying to make them feel bad, even though the friend was the one screwing up. You know what I mean? So it's important that we talk about gaslighting. Last but not least, we're gonna be talking about atheism. <laughs> and this is a topic that just came up today from one of my favorite loyalists, longtime Rewired Soldiers, Jiffy, over on Twitter, she sent this to me. I didn't wanna make a dedicated video, but I wanted to talk about atheism, mental health, and all that. So here's the tweet that Jiffy sent me from Brandon Calvillo. Um, so he's like doing a little like, you know, conversation. So atheist says, ugh, I hate religion, only idiots believe in God. Then I'm, a, you know, I'm assuming this is a religious person or somebody else like, or maybe they just wanna believe in something and hold out hope for anything better than this black tar crap hole known as life. Atheist, what? Sorry, I was believing in nothing and contemplating suicide. So those of you who know me and have heard me talk about spirituality, um, I am atheist agnostic, you know, but I am a spiritual person. I've made videos about this, not gonna dive into it. But one of the common misconceptions about atheists is that they're very depressed, they, they're suicidal, you know, all these other things. And that is not, absolutely not true. Now, as you've seen in my other videos, I have nothing wrong, I have no problems with religion, all right? As long as you're not hurting anybody, do your thing, boo. <laughs> That's the way it is, right? But there's this misconception about atheists where, you know, they think that they're all miserable and stuff like that. Like, one, one philosophical kind of uh, ideology that I might make videos on is like nihilism because, you know, nihilists can struggle with depression, right? But not believing in God does not mean that you're going to be depressed or you're suicidal. So, for example, I am not a religious person, okay? Now, um, I, you know, something like heaven and hell is not something that I think about, but, what I do on a daily basis is try to live my life in the best way possible, causing as little harm to others as well as myself every single day. And there was a, a, I forgot what this story was or where it came from, but basically the moral of that story was that atheists, you can trust that they're doing the right thing just for the sake of doing the right thing. They're not just doing the right thing in hopes that they're going to make it to heaven after they die. Now, by the way, before I get a bunch of backlash, I'm not saying religious people do that, okay? Or all religious people do that. You know, some might do that. But yeah, it'd be silly to think that, you know, atheists are walking around just miserable because they're like, what's the point in life? Do, 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 you know? Like, I know many, many, many atheists 
who are very happy, right? Again, my channel isn't about a religion. I'm just bringing in the mental health topic. Like, this is a mental health misconception. I just wanted to address it because part of my channel is about awareness and I don't want people thinking like, oh, all atheists are just miserable and depressed because they are not, all right? So just kind of keep that in mind. Thank you, Jiffy, for sending this. But anyways, let me know down in the comments below if you can relate to anything like somebody lying to you, big lies in an early relationship, gaslighting, or if you're an atheist, let me know if you're completely miserable, <laughs> you know, because life is so crappy. Like if anything, I would, you know, based on a video I did a while back about Brandon Calvillo, like his outlook on life is kind of like, eh, you know? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. I'm back in Las Vegas, some cool stuff coming. Um, and again, don't forget to check down in the description below, um, as well as in the pinned comment to check out Edwin's video, as well as go check out that link. If you are not getting notifications or videos from your favorite creators are not showing up in the sub feed, take just a couple minutes and fill that thing out, all right? Help everybody make this platform a little bit better. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I will be posting the Patreon Q&A right after this video. All right, if you wanna become a patron, get involved in the Patreon Q&A, click or tap right there. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.